Hey everyone. So if you remember my perch video, you'll notice we were on that really tight walkway. We were fishing on the bottom and we had nowhere to put our rods. And we had these cat litter buckets that we were putting the fish in. So I got this idea after the fact, of course. Not uh, in a timely manner when I could have used the information. So I had an idea later on how I can turn a cat litter box into a rod holder. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm just going to use one of these tidy cat litter boxes. And um, basically it's got a lid. And uh, you can open it up, put your fish in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this back end the rod holder. Okay, so I'm going to use this rod. I'm going to trace around the rod a little bit wider than the butt of the rod. And I'm going to make it as close to the forward edge as possible. Doesn't have to be too pretty. Now I'm going to cut these out. Just going to use uh, this multi tool knife. Might have helped if I filled the bucket with water first to give it some weight. The rod fit in there. Nice and easy. This top can actually come off, so we're gonna have to re reinforce that. It's pretty solid, and I'm sure it would hold so long as you set your drag right, but I'm gonna reinforce it just in case. I don't want to lose any rods. So how I'm going to reinforce it is I'm going to take these one inch screws I've got and I'm just going to put a couple in the lid. And then I'm going to put one on each side. And maybe I'll put one more in the middle. It's not going to come off. Okay, let's go try it out. So I'm going to be going trout fishing. My friend Paul, he told me that they release trout over at North Liberty Pond. They've been doing these trout releases secretly because of the coronavirus. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Make sure these drags are loose enough so the rod doesn't get pulled in. I think I'm getting a bite right there. Oh yeah, looks like it. Oh yeah, got a fish. What is that? That's a bluegill. little dink. A 
about a bad size. Another bluegill. Feels like a good fish. Is that a catfish? Oh no, that's a trout. That's a nice trout. Holy crap. Let's see what that is. Looks like 12 and a half inches. Nice. So the nice thing about having these cat buckets is when you got a fish you want, you can just toss him in there and he's gonna stay alive till you go home. He doesn't really have too much space to swim in though. Ah, this little bluegill. Crap, he inhaled that circle hook. Oh shit, there we go. Oh, that feels like a good one. Probably another trout. Oh, look at that trout, that's a beauty. I think that's bigger than the last one. Let's see. Oh yeah. This one this one's past 13. 13 and a quarter probably. Really nice. Decent one. This one's got some really nice coloring on it. Oh, I got hooked that one. turned off there pretty quick when the wind picked up. That bucket uh, rod holder worked out pretty well for those trout. Those big ones actually pulled pretty hard, but I want to test it a little more. So uh, I'm gonna go home and eat one of those trout and then I'm gonna go and try and catch some buffalo or carp down at the creek. And uh, we'll really put the screws to this thing.
looks like a black buffalo. And look at those lips. It's pretty long, slender. He's got a chunk taken out of his tail. Definitely a black buffalo. So that buffalo was pretty sweet, but a lot of times they don't really take the bait and run like a carp would. They'll just sit there with the hook in their mouth and not do anything for like half an hour. Still got about 15, 20 minutes I can fish, so hopefully I get a carp. Um, just a couple thoughts in case this is the end. Make sure you set the drag on your reels because if you get a carp or anything, they're gonna just pull that rod right in and probably knock over your bucket full of water. So one idea I had is if you take a piece of string and you tie it to this handle and then you put a peg in the ground, that should stop any fish from pulling your bucket into the water. Oh man, look at that. The rod is horizontal. Oh man, this feels like a good fish. Oh, it's a nice common. He's trying to get in the snags. <sighs> On the tiniest hook. It's a size six octopus, I believe. But man, this is a really nice looking carp. Really. Nice colors, not the biggest, but oh. oh. Hold on, we'll get you back. Nice. Nice catch. Thanks. <laughs> Well, that was pretty sweet. I'm uh, pretty glad I got that. Um, pretty glad I got that carp. Nothing's gonna test your gear like a common carp will. Uh, that buffalo is pretty sweet too. I'm glad I got that. Not many people catch black buffalo, and yeah, they're such a cool-looking fish. But yeah, so the bucket's a success. Give it a try if you need something.